like what well, guys what's up how are your plants and your fishes and guys what's going on guys today's video is all about the plants and we are going to discuss about the plants and i will tell you about macro and micronutrients and what are the secondary nutrients and what is the role of macro and micronutrients for the plants and why these nutrients are essential for the plants we are going to cover everything in this video guys so guys stay tuned with me and if you have any problem or if you want to discuss something about the plants and nutrients you may comment in the comment section so guys we are going to start the video stay tuned and guys before starting the video if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel so that you can get all the updates in time and you may get all the informative and interesting video okay guys thank you for subscribing my channel so guys first you talk about the macronutrients guys macro means huge or large so these nutrients are required in the relatively larger amount or huge amount by the plants and if we don't provide these nutrients to the plants then the plants may not grow and these are very essential for the growth of the plants and these are three basically nutrients and these are called npk npk means n stands for nitrogen p for phosphorus and k for the potassium so these are basically the macronutrients which are required by every type of the plant okay guys now we are going to talk about the nitrogen nitrogen is essential for plant development and it plays fundamental role in energy metabolism and protein synthesis and guys nitrogen is absorbed in the form of nitrates so it is directly related to the plant growth and if we don't provide the nitrogen then plant will not grow as it is the essential part of the growth of the plant okay guys now we are going to talk about the phosphorus phosphorus is the second macro element which is directly involved in the roots of the plants and basically phosphorus transports and stores the nutrients and phosphorus plays very important role in transporting the nutrients from soil to the plant and it is very essential for the plant as well and it makes the plant to withstand with adverse condition Okay, now we talk about the potassium. It is the third macro element, and it is involved in the growth of the plant as well. And it regulates the water, and it increases the photosynthesis process. And this one also is very essential for the plant as well. Okay, now talking about the secondary nutrients. these nutrients are also very essential and these are consumed in the larger quantity as well but uh, smaller than the macro nutrients as compared to npk but these are also very essential and now we are going to discuss that what are these secondary nutrients
guys these were some micronutrients and now we are going to discuss that what are the signs of deficiency in the plants and we will discuss and i will show you that how do plants look like if they have some deficiency of the nutrients whether they are micro or macro we are going to discuss both of the signs so in this picture you can see the signs of the deficiency and you can see that the plants have got not proper leaves if they have macro or micronutrients deficiency so uh, i am gonna tell you details in my upcoming videos that if plant have got the deficiency of a specific nutrient and i will also share that how to fulfill the deficiency of a specific nutrient and in my upcoming videos i will also tell you that how to make diy fertilizer for your planted tank for a specific size of tank so guys stay tuned with me until then watch my videos and okay guys thank you so much bye bye